Hi, it's Queer Mike, and welcome to another video where I read one of your emails and give my opinion on the matter. So just a heads up, before we begin, this email is not safe for work. I've given you fair warning. There is some naughty stuff in this email. It's pretty long, and we are about to get taken on a journey. So close your eyes and just listen and visualize, because I had to read this a few times just to, just to process what's going to happen. All right, let's go. Title of this email is My Brilliant Idea. Dear Queer Mike, I need help with a bit of a problem. When I was a teen, I discovered the joy of masturbation, like most teens. That's not my problem, by the way. The problem is that a little while later, I read somewhere about the location of the male G-spot. I couldn't believe it was up the bum. So alone in my bedroom one night, I decided to give it a go and stuck a finger up my butt while spanking the monkey. OMFG, I cannot tell you how stupefyingly awesome it was. Needless to say, it became routine. Sticking a finger in the stink and jerking the gherkin at the same time. Hands down, it beats just tugging the slug on its own. Riding the mayonnaise surf became a two-handed affair for me. Person's very creative with the way they described <laughs> rubbing one off. Anyway, fast forward a couple of years and I found myself a girlfriend. Sex with her is absolutely fantastic, but I find I can't reach climax unless there's a finger in my bum and my G-spot is stimulated. First few times we had sex, I just secretly reached behind and popped the finger up my own bum. Although after a few times, I think my girlfriend was getting suspicious. I mean, here I am passionately making love, caressing her body with both hands, and then suddenly one of my hands disappears? The last time I tried this, my girlfriend was looking intently at my hand as she had obviously noticed something was strange strange, so I couldn't do it. This happened about four or five times since then. Each time, she would watch to see where my hand goes, so I faked an itch, and I was unable to reach orgasm. I basically had to fake it. Afterwards, we'd cuddle and sit on the couch and watch TV and eat snacks until she went home. The moment she left, I'd immediately whip out the little dude and go to town shucking the old corn and drilling for oil in the stink hole. Not long ago, I had a brilliant idea. I was looking at the coat hook hanging near my front door, seeing its gentle curve and rounded point and how much it resembled the exact curve that my preferred butt finger made when I slide it up my bum. I actually had a hard time trying to visualize this coat hook because like, here's a picture of what I had in mind. So I emailed back and was like, do you mind sending me a picture of this coat hook? It's really hard to, to visualize. So here's a picture of the co hook. I found my screwdriver and gently removed the hook from my wall. Gently, mind you. I gave it a bit of a test run. It was perfect. It was exactly the right shape. It was even better than my finger because it didn't quiver like jelly while I climaxed. So the next time my girlfriend came over, I was prepared. Just before we started, I went to the bathroom and took out my hook from the bathroom drawer where it was stashed. I slipped it in. The round metal base with the screw holes to attach it to the wall was a perfect size for a clenched butthole to hold in place and not let it go further in. As long as she didn't look directly at my metal asshole, all would be good. And it was. That night was probably the best night of sex we've ever had. Both of my hands were free to caress her. Every passionate kiss made even more meaningful because both of my hands were holding her face. I stroked her back and grabbed her ass with both hands as we rocked together. At more than one point, she screamed my name like she meant it. I had her squirming and she loved every second of it. I did too, of course. My trusty coat hook nudging my G-spot with every stroke. The stars aligned, the room shook. We climaxed together for the first time. We were both out of breath. She looked intently in my eyes and told me she loved me. I kissed her deeply and told her I loved her too. It was the perfect moment. Then I rolled off of her. My butthole muscles relaxed just a little too much and my ass had a little more lubricating sweat than usual. The back of the hook, which was the stopper, sort of twisted angle and slid straight into my bum. It was like slow motion. My eyes were large and in shock as the whole coat hook slid in. My sphincter then deciding it was time to tighten up. My girlfriend saw my face and immediately asked me, what's wrong? Nothing, I said. I lay on my back as she rested her head on my chest. I stared up at the ceiling thinking to myself, what the f am I gonna do now? My brain told me, not a damn thing. You have just had the most perfect night and a coat hook lodged up your ass isn't going to spoil that. We watched our movie, ate our snacks, cuddled on the couch. All the while, I had a metal coat hook in my bum, painfully jabbing my insides with every sudden movement. I kept glancing at the mark on the door where the coat hook hung just days before and thinking, who the hell is stupid enough to put that in his butt? When she left, I took myself to the emergency room and had it removed. The doctor was professional, but the nurses were definitely stifling their giggles. I may have imagined it, but I'm pretty sure I heard someone call me Captain Hook as I left. They didn't return my hook, and it felt weird to ask for it back. Anyway, I'm not sure what to do now. I love this girl, and I want to tell her everything, but I'm scared it will drive her away. What do you think? Thanks for listening. Captain Hook. Damn! I... Oh, okay. So it's, it's evident I've had to read this a few times just to process it. 
And I still, I still for the life of me don't have any solid advice I think I can give to this particular situation. I'm going to say what I usually say in a lot of my videos where you need to be able to trust your partner. It's one of those things where it's better to just rip the bandit off and just tell her like what you're into. You might be surprised. Maybe she's into some stuff too. If not, it's always great to know that you now are lifted from that burden of keeping a secret. Now it's really down to her how she decides to receive it. So I would just say, look, you love her and her Hopefully she loves you too. And you can talk about this and tell her, look, I love you and all. It's not you, it's me. I just can't come unless I got something stimulating my G-spot. And the thing is, she's most likely going to be able to relate too, because <laughs> let's be real, man. Stimulating a lady's G-spot is, <laughs> is tough straw, damn. You know, like, look, yeah, dude, you said you had to fake an orgasm. I'm telling you, all the ladies do it all the time. And they do it because they want us to feel you know, like King. So give her the benefit of the doubt and just tell her, look, don't get offended. There was a few times that I had to fake it because I just wasn't getting the spot simulated. You are an absolute goddess and all that stuff. Tell her that, butter her up and everything. Tell her like, but the truth is, I need something poking me from behind. You know, that kind of thing. Just be as transparent as possible. And hopefully the love is there. You guys are communicating like adults and you, know, you can come to a compromise, which was going to lead to my next thing. I know some people, I'm not gonna name who, right? But they're into some kinky shizzle and it's nothing to be ashamed of but perhaps you can introduce the idea of butt plugs you know maybe one halloween you can be like yo i got us some matching fox tail butt plugs or something and you guys can pretend to be the nine tail demon fox or something from naruto <sighs> man but next time just go for that because leave it to the professionals don't make a diy butt plug or something like that just 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 do that i'm pretty sure they have that shape you're looking for because that thing get i'm looking at my coat hook right now and thinking dude you have no business putting that up your bum because you are lucky that managed to get removed imagine it could be worse we're talking like catastrophic like you could have ruptured something inside of your body you know and worst case scenario died so in fact you know what this is really serious stuff you tell this person what your kinks are then maybe you guys can find some sort of compromise okay next time you guys do it you you want to wear like a butt plug or something i, I don't i don't know man just be careful dude and by the way i really appreciate how poetic you are of describing the different ways of beating your meat. <laughs> I feel so raw saying, yeah, beating the meat, busting a nut, rubbing one off. Yeah, yours was very creative. I really appreciate that. <laughs> but real talk, man. Seriously, be careful. I'm actually, you know, I'm glad you emailed this because people need to know they need to be careful with that stuff. And it's good and a bad thing that you experience putting a coat hook in your butt because now hopefully no one will experience that themselves because they're going to learn from your lesson. That's all I have to say. If anyone else has anything to say, I'm pretty sure people are going to be quiet this time. They're going to be like, uh, and not comment, but I think, uh, yeah, dude, leave it to professionals. Go order some, some toys or something online. You know, those kinky adult toys. I imagine, right, here's a remote and here's a base for my mic. So it's probably like this, so that when it goes in, this is gonna prevent it from getting sucked all the way in. So yeah, they, they've probably got all that stuff sorted. Yeah, in theory, that's how I imagine it should be. Yeah, so guys, please let me know what's going on. Like, if you have any advice for this, this is a very painful lesson. As always, these emails are kept anonymous, so please feel free to send in any questions, confessions, or any stories you just want to get off of your chest, like this one, to the email in the description below. And all that good stuff, if you enjoyed what you watched and you're not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And click on the notification bell so that you are kept up to date whenever there are new uploads. And all the usual, please do like, share, and subscribe, and please do comment. And lastly, I just want to plug in my Twitch. You can always find me there if you are feeling like you've caught up to all my videos and like, you know what, let's go see what Mike's up to a live stream yeah we're gonna go hang out it's really cool i stream a bunch of games so in my last video react to century corn tuna i had to show, show people what it was all about anyway that's that so please do find my stream and again do send me emails and i hope to hear from you soon until next time